So, besides your Dr. career, <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about uh, your driving career. Okay. Uh, first of all, what is drift to you? Drift for me is probably the most exciting thing you can do with a car. When any fan asks me, you know, what is drifting, uh, I always say to them, come and see it. You know, come and, come and watch it. And uh, you'll, you'll soon experience how exciting drifting is, you know. It's basically sliding a car at speed and you look like everything's about to go wrong, you get a crash, you're going to hit everything, but it's, you make it around the track completely sideways, two cars at a time, and it's just, you know, it's like dancing on ice, but with cars. It's exciting. It's a judge sport, so it's like freestyle motocross, but at the same time, it's, it's with cars. So, you know, anyone who watches it thinks, you know, they're, they're at the fence, they're, they're, they can't take their eyes off it because it's just awesome to watch. How easy is it for you to evolve and train and get better all the time? Well, for me, I'm racing uh, nearly every other weekend, so I'm always in the car. So uh, practice time or development will be in the winter. And then throughout the, throughout the summer or the spring and then summer, we're, we're racing at events across Europe. Uh, la this year we've been to Japan as well, four times to Japan. I was just in South Africa two weeks ago uh, doing an event there as well. So it's been a really, really busy season. I, I hear that Japan is uh, the temple. Of For sure. It's the home of uh, drifting. It's where drifting was uh, sort of invented maybe or started. Um, and, uh, it's where it came from, and some of the best drivers in the world have come out of Japan. So how did it feel to be, you know, in the, in the heart of For me, it was a dream. You know, I wanted to go and experience Japan, and, you know, to be able to go with Monster Energy, and, you know, for them to take me to Japan, to experience it, to see it, to live it, uh, and see the guys that developed the sport was amazing. I, you know, I just had the absolute most best time. And the best thing about Japan is the food. The food is amazing. You like sushi? I don't agree. I've been there and I was starving. You don't like sushi? No, no. Oh, it's great. I like to eat dead things. <laughs> totally cooked. <laughs> uh, what about racing in Japan? It's really tough. You know, the, the guys are really good. Uh, we went there, um, you know, on a video project uh, to, you know, bring back to Europe some of the insights that I had to Japan. And that's exactly what we did. We competed. Um, in some of the D1 events, we didn't get the the result the results maybe I was hoping for, but we had a blast just being there. Do you think that drift is evolving all around the world? More for sure, and more? for sure. You know, drifting is getting bigger and bigger every day. You know, it's every uh, every event I go to, I see more spectators, more fans, better cars, more cars, and people are really getting behind drifting now as well. Because before it was one of them sports that not everybody understood. You know, with Formula One or, or uh, touring cars, it's always the car that finishes first, that wins. But with drifting, it's about more than that. It's about speed, angle, line, you know, it's, and uh, it's a judge sport. So it's not who comes first across the line necessarily that wins. But people are starting to understand more and more about what drifting is, and now they're getting a better understanding of it. You have a big drift scene in Greece. Yes, I Greece understand, yeah. Uh, what is the message you have to give to young people that uh, don't have enough money to go to a circuit and you know, the do thing, it on the road? The thing, like the, th the thing I can tell them is really the, the same story that happened to me. You know, I, I saw drifting on the internet. I thought it looked amazing. I bought a car from eBay for like a hundred pounds, which is n not particularly. What a, car was it? A Volvo. Okay. Three Volvo. Volvo 340. Okay. It was the cheapest car I could find that was rear wheel drive. You're very there. Yeah, I waited for it to rain, so it was slippery, and I just went out and had some fun. I went and done some donuts, some figure of eights, and then I just started like trying to link corners together, and I developed the car every week. Every time I got paid, I would buy something small for the car. Again, buy something small for the car. And I just, over two years, I developed the car to be something better, and then I got a new car, and I went and won the British Championship within two years. And then after that, within five years, I won the European. So it's, a fairy tale, not a story. it's you know it's it's exactly what happened to me. So you know you just have to believe in your dreams and go for your, go for the biggest goals you can find. How come you do not uh, like to follow you know chasing the timing, it's just speed? And you prefer to go sliding. Well, you know it's exciting. You know I I enjoy 
uh, sports that are a little bit extreme and drifting is basically the most extreme sport I think with a car. So for me it's all about having fun and drifting gives me that as well as being involved in motorsport. So you want to be the European Ken Block? Well, you know, Ken, his, Ken, you know, what he does is awesome, uh, which is stage rally, Jim Carner grid. Uh, drifting is a little bit different from that, but, you know, if, uh, if, if in time I develop, you know, a Jim Carner car and start doing that, then for sure, yeah. You know, it's not a bad life to be doing something like what Ken's doing. Uh, what about Formula One? Do you watch it? Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, sure. I enjoy it. I watch it. Uh, last year I was at Monza Rally with uh, Lewis Hamilton and uh, we had uh, the weekend there. He was driving a Mercedes, um, Mercedes uh, road car around the track and um, I was driving my Nissan and we had, a, we had a blast, you know, we was racing around the track together, it was great fun. And uh, recently Jensen Button came to England and he uh, tested a rallycross car. So we, we was there that day with him and... It was uh, an unbelievable video. You saw it? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I was there with Jensen and David Coulthard and Liam. And uh, we had a lot of fun that day. And you know, it's uh, it's another world, but I really appreciate what it's them guys do for sure. Uh, I saw that video for me was uh, just bring somebody who's very successful back to the beginning. Yep, for sure. It was uh, what about rallycross? What about will, it? Will you do uh, anything? About I had a little go. I had a little go in rallycross uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, didn't quite end up the way I'd hoped. We ended up having a bit of a rollover. I ended up on the roof of the car. But uh, it's something for sure that in the next couple of years I'm going to look at doing some, uh, some more of. Um, we're just so busy with drift, you know. Every, nearly every other weekend I'm somewhere doing something with my drift car. So as soon as I can find maybe a little gap in the schedule, uh, I will look to have a go again maybe within uh, British Rallycross. So finally, what uh, are you hoping for the future for your career? About your dreams. I don't know. You know, I keep I keep wondering whether I will ever be satisfied with what I've done. But every time I think to myself, "Am I satisfied yet?" I see something I want to do, and see something else I want to go and experience. So I do wonder sometimes. It scares me a little bit that I'm never satisfied with what I've done. So I do wonder whether I'll never be satisfied. But you know, while I'm still hungry to reach everything I want to do, I'll keep continuing that dream. Thank you for your time. I hope you feel better.